Today we're going to go over typical grid server insights with typical log logic log management intelligence. So a little bit about log logic. Log logic is the industry's leading turnkey big data platform. Log logic fills an important role for customers around the world, enabling them to collect, manage, and harness their log data. It can collect all kinds of log data from all different types of sources, both software and hardware devices. We can, this includes a number of typical products, of which we have BW, BE, EMS, Active Spaces, AMX BPM, Grid Server, and others. LogLogic's ability to manage huge loads of data streaming in is unparalleled. In today's demo, we're going to go over specifically how you can harness and get more insights into your typical grid server uh, log events. So this demo consists of the grid server engine and the grid server manager sending logs via syslog to the LogLogic platform. So let's take a look. Here we can see that we have grid server events coming in from the manager and from the engine. We can see the last time, last time an event was received. We can see the counts that they stream in. Now that we have the data onboarded, we had created some data models, advanced data models here. And what these advanced data models essentially are, are parsing rules which extract and normalize the data. So building these is very easy and straightforward. We have a lot of default configurations um, that you can use for parsing. You basically will just set a bunch of events that you want to create rules around. You can then create some parsing rules using regular expressions, normalize them to a common schema, and this will allow you to then visualize and search them in a very normalized fashion to allow you to get easier insight into that data. Let's take a look at these in action. So here we've got um, our advanced search interface. And I've constructed a query using our SQL-like syntax. So I'm going to search across the two data models that we created for Grid Server for events that came in today. So here you can see that I've got data coming in. It's been normalized. We've got a bunch of different columns that we can select. So we can select to select them all. And you'll see that they all come in here. You also get this in-context view with the events. You can choose just to show the normalized view. You can also scroll in and drill down on a particular time. all visually. This allows you to get very quick insights into your data. Similarly, I've created a, a save search. And this is going to show us um, basically some metric data that we've extracted and created a report for, uh, for the grid logs. So here you can see, got the grid logs, grid server manager, grid server engine, the percent and distribution, the count. You can see here over time, you know, what the memory and consumption is, what's been in use, active threads, total threads. We'll also be able to do some session tracking. So here we are here. We've normalized this data ahead of time with our data models. We can go ahead and uh, see the different types of things here. Let's make sure we've got session IDs, which is right here. 
we can filter down and drill down. Now we can see for that particular session ID it's spanning across all the various things. So again these columns over here are optional so if you want to essentially make your view a little more um, easier to see you can go ahead and just select the ones that uh, you know you want to see so you can mix and match the view however you want the important thing here is we've normalized it so searching across the data becomes very easy now at this point so now we can see for that session we can track it across all the events that happen across the grid server similarly we can take the this exact same query language that we've done for the searches here and apply them in a visualization on a dashboard so you can do things like take the OS distribution across grid server engine and manager and represent that here uh, in, in a dashboard widget. You can do the same thing across for versions. Things like um, session, like so you can get the top sessions over the course of an hour if you'd like. This allows you to come back down, drill back down, and then execute the query. So again, very, very powerful and very flexible. In addition to, you know, this this insight into the data both visually and uh, syntactically through the, through the query interface you can also do things uh, beyond that such as alerting so we can send traps um, or emails or even syslog events for particular alerts that you can trigger here so in these things we've got stuff looking for like is the engine has it died are there any particular error messages any exceptions any warnings again so we can do all those types of things across the data so again, in summary, just wanted to let you all know that you know with Log Logic, you can get a lot more insight into your grid server data very easily and very quickly in an efficient manner. This also allows you to basically also correlate this across any other sources that you may be uh, collecting. So not only your grid server, but you could bring in operational logs, such as operating system logs, or you can do stuff like IT infrastructure stuff. So again. The power of log logic to get more insight into your data is very valuable. So this concludes our presentation for today. Thank you for joining us.